theme for April 1964. I went to the altar. Surrender so my life to the Lord and I came home to you. He really gave me, I knew that all those things were being there, I was not watching people. Well. And he kept on, you know, being the follow up and teaching me the, you know, the songs and all that, uh, in the gospel songs. And what I know of them, both of them, were responsible to making me switch over completely and uh, eventually everything I settled. See, sanctified, baptized to the Holy Ghost. It was great encouragement to me. That's why I said I was calling out and show this things to you that this is the man the minister that uh, got me to where I was. I need to tell you, stop this here and say that I'm going to tell it to you. Now, I would come from the clinic to for company to him in the church. And he, they might not have chance to attend because uh, he was lecturing at that time, walking in a near that church. Amen. I remember. Praise the Lord. I will go to the company team. When I come out of that company, and he would not have done it. And I will not even write a judge, any, any sentence in the message. I just pay attention. And when I came back to him, he would accommodate me. And he would say, What did he preach? I'll be clear from the first reference. I will go through the introduction. I will tell him the whole message of memory. What the preach. Right. I will do that and on and on. And eventually, uh, when I now finish, and now I will come from uh, the town, I will be clinic, and now. When I come up to I live in their house, uh, both himself and a uh, good, uh, good mother, the wife, but I don't have any other thing, Bible and singing. When I go to the bathroom in the morning, I'm singing and singing and singing, because, because I was thinking of that now. And when I leave, one day, I was not there to the festival. And uh, he and uh, you know, the wife and you know, the family they were there in the morning. Early in the morning, like I normally would sing, they were hearing my voice in the uh, in the house. And it, I see if I was there in the physical. And he would say, Where did the doctor come? Where did the doctor come? And he opened the room, the room where he normally would put me. I was in there. But my singing continued there, even when I was not there physically. And it was all through those experiences by the grace of God. That saws through, and eventually, when I was excommunicated for evangelism from the Apostolic faith, he was a worker in the Apostolic faith, and so he had to make a choice where would he stay? Where would he be? And instead of staying there, and he had a good position, good connection, and the people from the leadership to the membership, everyone knew him chose to say they would not leave me alone. Wow. That they will uh, go with me. Excommunication or no excommunication. He will be with me. And I respect his commitment and his in, in contribution to my life as I was growing up. And uh, here we are today, celebrating uh, 15 years. He is still alive. I'm still alive. We're both alive. 
Never ask the Lord for a reward to pass. The Lord will reward you. Amen. All the things that happen, the one that I know, you know, I didn't uh, know uh, any of those, uh, those those songs all that I knew and the songs singing on the other side of now. All the songs I know, grace, 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 that is greater than all I see, all that I know, it is well. All that I know, and Jesus is my Lord forever. I learned so much. 